My full name? I am Clothesline. Reading. Real name. Oh. I am Gina Silver. Here, reading page 204. The freckled forehead. While you'd parched Sajesha, she healed her soup. But she was she was two feet higher in her iron estimation and steps on stilts ever since. That was Kiswa healing with banter for Bomb. Oh, wasn't he the bold priest? And wasn't she the naughty Livy? Nautic Nama's now her novel. Two lads in scotch breeches went through her before that. Barefoot burn and wallowing away. Lunki has no bless pits before she had a hint to other hair on her fanny, or tied, or a bosom to tempt a young man. And ere that again, Lida, Lida, all unready, too faint to buoy the birch canoodler, too frail to flirt with a signet plume, and ere that again, Shinipa Chitura, while pouring her bee, pure and simple, on the spur of the hill of the old Kapure. In birdsong and shearing time, but first of all, worst of all, the wiggly Livy, she slide-stepped out by a gap in the Devil's Glen, while Sally, her nurse, was sound asleep in a suit and Fifi Fi Fi fell over a spillway before she found her stride and lay and wiggled all oh, in the stagnant black pools of rainy under a fallow coo and she laughed in a safari with her limbs aloft and a whole drove of maiden hawthorns blushing and looking askance upon her. Drop me with the sound of the Finlorn's mane, and two or two, some bogger was wisness, and trip me why in the Flanders was she freckled, and trickle me through was she a muscle waved, or was it weirdly a wig she wore? And what side did they droop their glows in their flory? A back to whist or a front to see? In fear to hear the deer. And which side they drop their glows in the flory? Are you in the swim? Or are you in you out? Oh, go in, go on, go on. I mean, about what you do now. I know you right well what you mean. Rather, you'd like the coifs and the geeps, snouty and me to do a greasy job on old Veronica's whispers. What am I rancing now and I'll thank you? Is it a penny or is it a surplus? That's not what the vestry benediction smell. I can tell from here by their eau de colo and the scent of her odor there, Mrs. McGrath's. And you ought to have the scent of her and you ought to have aired them. They've moist come off her creases in silk. They are not crammed in there. Baptized me, Father, for she has sinned.